Hello everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions, where we talk all things media. And today we're talking another disc replay haul. So it's a kind of random one because there's DVDs, Blu-rays, but really the star of the show are all of the 4K items I found. Now I'll be honest, this has been like months in the making because whenever I go to disc replay recently, I've not been able to find anything worthwhile on 4K. So these have been sitting here a little while, but you guys Guys haven't seen him yet so I figured I would share them with you today so before we get into this if you guys have a quick second please hit that like button down below that engagement really does help me out but with that said let's not waste any more time at all let's dive right in to my most recent disc replay random DVD blu-ray and 4k haul all right, so I'll start off with the DVDs. And first up is just this random double feature I found of George of the Jungle and George of the Jungle 2. So George of the Jungle was a favorite of mine. I owned it on VHS back in the day and I watched it over and over again. Brendan Fraser, of course, fantastic in this. George of the Jungle 2, however, I've yet to see... I don't have high hopes for it, though. I'll tell you that. I think Thomas Hayden Church is our main character. And I don't know, but is that the kid from... Two and a half men, because it really looks like him. I don't like that show at all, to be honest. But whenever I'm, my my mom, sometimes she has it on, and I swear to God, that looks like the same little kid. I don't know if the the dates match up, that that's even possible, but let me know down below. Anyway, George of the Jungle is fantastic. George of the Jung Jungle two, I've got to see it and see if it's any good or not. So I picked up this double feature, George of the Jungle one and two. Next up is one for my pro wrestling collection. This is Greatest Stars of the 90s. And so if you open it up, it's a three disc set, which is cool. You do have some WCW represented here with Sting, which is always good to see. But yeah, you can see it's a three disc set and it's just one I didn't own. Now, I would imagine there was probably a case that actually went like this tucked into, but that wasn't included. So yeah, I figured I would pick this one up. Anytime I can add something new for cheap to my wrestling collection, I always do it. So the greatest stars of the 90s. This next one is actually not from Disc Replay. I totally forgot. This is from Second and Charles. It was in their clearance bin, so I spent like a dollar on it. But this is Killing Zoe with Eric Stoltz. So you can see on the bottom here, it says from the makers or the creators of Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction. It's because it's written and is it written? Yes, written and directed by Roger Avery. So that was the reason I wanted to check it out. It looks like a like 90s neo-noir thriller of some sort. Talks about like the nihilism of Gen Xers. And so, I don't know, looked interesting. Sounds cool. Roger Avery's involved. So I'm intrigued to check this one out. Let me know if this one's any good or not, if you've seen it, because I'm very intrigued if I should prioritize it. This is Killing Zoe. I do have a couple of Blu-rays, and the first one here is another kids movie. This is The Boss Baby. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I believe it was during Black Friday last year, I found the sequel, Boss Baby 2. What is it? Boss Baby Back in Business or something like that? And my daughter loves the Boss Baby movies, so I was looking to find the first one, and finally I came across it at my disc replay, so had to pick it up. I have seen this one, and I think it is hilarious. Like, I really enjoyed this movie when I saw it. It was a lot better than I expected it to be, so that's the reason I ended up getting the sequel. Had to have this one in the collection too, though. This is The Boss Baby. You know, I'm calling this a disc replay haul, but this is actually not from disc replay either. This is an eBay find. This is Fantastic Four and Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. So this is a double feature that I sought out specifically because I realized I didn't have either of these movies in my collection on DVD or Blu-ray, and I've never seen these before. I know everyone craps on the fa these two Fantastic Four movies, but they still like them better than the reboot that they did. Now, I'll be honest, I enjoyed the reboot. I didn't love it. I didn't think it's a great movie, but I enjoyed it for what it was. And so I figured, hey, maybe I'll like these even more. So why not pick it up? And this is another one. It does, ooh, as I drop it here, it does come on two separate upside down Blu-rays. They won't spin for me. So that's always good to have them on separate Blu-rays. But yeah, another cool double feature to go with my Ghost Rider double feature I got last month. This is Fantastic Four and Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. 
All right, let's jump over to the 4K titles and I'll stick with some family ones here to start. So this first one is The Secret Life of Pets. Now, I'll be honest, I had the sequel to this in my collection on 4K for a long time. I find I found it super cheap, I don't know, a couple years ago. And I was at one point, I didn't even know if they had this one on 4K because I wasn't able to find it anywhere. Well, randomly one day at Disc Replay, there it was. And so I picked it up. This was like five bucks. Like it was super cheap. And this one is pretty good. Like it's not a fantastic fan family movie, but I think it's really cute for what it is. I enjoyed it and that's good enough. And another one that my daughter really likes. So I had to grab it to have both of them in the collection. This is The Secret Life of Pets. Another one from the family collection, but I really like this movie. I think the music in this is excellent. This is Sing. And I do need the sequel. I've not seen the sequel yet, but I love the original. It's just so good. The music is excellent, I think. Which again, music, much like comedy, is very divisive. But I had a great time with this one. I thought it was hilarious. And I thought the music was just fantastic. So very happy I was able to find this one on 4K. This is Sing. And then next up is a Disney film. I can't believe I have to say this, but I have not seen either of these movies in the Incredibles universe. This is Incredibles 2. Now, I think I actually showed... Did I already show it? I don't know. But I picked up the original Incredibles on Blu-ray because I couldn't find it on 4K and I wanted to watch it. And so now I was able to find the sequel on 4K, which I wasn't going to pass up because this was actually as it was like the same price as the Blu-ray at $5.99. So, of course, I'm going to go with the 4K edition. But yeah, I need to watch these. I love superhero movies and I love animated films, family movies. I don't know why I haven't watched the Incredibles yet, but I need to watch both one and two. This is Incredibles 2. The last of the family films and the last Disney movie, this is Raya and the Last Dragon. Now, I've not watched this one yet, but my daughter keeps looking at it and saying, Dad, can we watch that? Can we watch that? So I will be watching this one very soon. We just haven't gotten around to it yet. So this is a Disney movie that, frankly, I had, didn't hear too much about at all. I heard there was a good talk about it when it came out on 4K. Something was going on with it, I think. Like the price was really high. I don't remember exactly, but I feel like it was talked about a lot on release. And so I just, I never picked it up. And then I found it super cheap at disc replay. And so I, of course I had to grab it. So I'm intrigued to see if this one is any good or not, just because like I said, haven't heard a ton about it. So hopefully it'll be decent one. This is Raya and the Last Dragon. Sticking with another animated movie, this is Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I am so intrigued to see what this is all about because I love Batman, of course, and I was always a huge TMNT fan growing up. And so I'm just interested to see what this is. Like the art style on these t or turtles is a lot different than what I saw back when I was watching like the animated series back in the day. But I have to see what this is about. I have no idea. I'm very intrigued. Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This next one is weird because I've not seen the movie, but I have seen the Broadway show that the movie's based on. This is In the Heights. Of course, this is from Lin-Manuel Miranda, which I'm guessing the reason this got turned into a movie is because he blew up with his uh, Broadway show Hamilton, which has now gone on to be like a national phenomenon. And so I'm guessing that's probably why they ended up going back to his older show and turned it into a uh, movie. But this is an excellent show. It's a, uh, you know, just kind of the story of uh, somebody trying to persevere and just make better for themselves but the music in this is excellent I loved it it was just such a like a spectacle to watch on Broadway I loved it and so very intrigued to check out the movie and I got this one again super cheap so couldn't pass it up this is in the heights this next one, I really thought I already owned on 4K in my collection, but turns out I only owned the original, not the sequel to Independence Day. This is Independence Day Resurgence, which takes place like 20 years after the original, but Jeff Goldblum is back in his returning role, which is really cool. Now, I've not heard anything good about this movie, frankly, so I'm very intrigued to see if I will like this one or not. Hopefully I will. I love big, dumb action movies. I love big, dumb sci-fi movies. It takes a lot for me not to like something like this. So we'll see if it's any good. This is Independence Day Resurgence. Oh, you know what? I will mention my wife, big fan of the original. She hated this one and she doesn't really hate movies very often. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to check it out, see if it's any good or not, but I don't have high expectations. Speaking of movies without high expectations, this is actually a Stephen King adaptation, which I've not heard good things about. This is The Dark Tower, but as you can see on there, Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey. So like, really? 
how bad can it actually be? Has an excellent cast based on one of Stephen King's most beloved works, one that I've not yet read myself. But I'm probably going to watch the movie first because I'm thinking I might enjoy it more having not read the source material because it seems to be if you if you love the books, you don't really love this adaptation of it. So we'll see. I know I, I have read The Stand and I've seen that miniseries, of course. And so I believe it's all tied into that same universe. So I, I don't know. We'll see if this one is decent or not. Eventually, this is The Dark Tower. Last but not least is actually an upgrade for me. I think I had both of these on Blu-ray already, but I had to grab it. This is Now You See Me 1 and 2, the two film collection. So I really enjoyed the first film in this series. I thought it was just really fun. Like it was a big spectacle. The magic in it was so absurd and ridiculous and over the top. But it was a blast to watch, and I really like the kind of mystery behind all of it as well. So I like that one a lot. I've got to watch the sequel still, but I'm hoping it's going to be more of the same. So I figured, yeah, we'll upgrade it. Again, this was like six bucks, like super cheap. So why not upgrade it? And uh, yeah, we'll see if these uh, see if the sequel holds up to as fun, being as fun as the original was. I'm hoping so. This is Now You See Me 1 and 2, and that is going to be the last of the items that I found at Disc Replay recently. All right, so there is today's stack of goodies. Like I said, a ton of 4K movies, but it's taken me quite a while to gather those because Disc Replay has just gone dry around me when it comes to 4K. So hopefully that turns around again soon because in the past, they've had some really good things. So I'm hoping... I'll get lucky again as the days go on here. But let me know down in the comments below, what have you found recently from your local shops? Have you seen any of these? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know what your thoughts are and any recommendations to prioritize from this stack that I haven't seen. I love hearing your recs. So leave those and any and all comments down below. I always appreciate all that support down there. But as always, if you guys enjoyed this one, please hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. And if not, hit thumbs down. That lets me know to change something as well. And like I always say, I don't just talk movies, I talk all things media. Books, movies, video games, graphic novels, manga. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are too, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. And I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs>